Hello everyone and welcome back to Wolf Quest 2.7 and we are back here with Star Dancer and the brand new Starry Skies pack. So as you guys know from last time, we have started a brand new wolf pack to enjoy our Summer of the Wolves with, in which we combine the Moon Pack and the Stormy Skies Pack, which have been apart for so many generations, back into one wolf pack. And today is a really special day, because it is the day where you guys will be able to vote down in the straw poll in the video description over which wolf our wonderful star dancer is going to pick as her mate, and it is going to be one of the three wolves who were born to Misty and Glenn over in the Stormy Skies pack. And the three boys that they had were Geo, Slate, and Wisp. And so we'll talk a little bit about them in just a bit. I think we need to have a dispersal wolf encounter. Let's see if we can find a wolf up here. We're way far away. We can't have a mate just yet because we're way far away from that. We only have 400 experience points. But Star Dancer has spent the day sleeping. She was released by the biologist who rehabilitated her and she has a radio collar on. And she immediately had some great luck being able to hunt down some elk. She chased several elk. She hunted down several elk. She ran through the forest, ran through the forest shadows. And then she got distracted and a little bit distressed when an airplane showed up. She is wearing the radio collar so that the biologist who released her can keep track of her. And when the plane showed up, she got a little bit... Oh, there's a bunny! All right, lucky rabbit's foot! Star Dancer, I really swear, I think she has quite a bit of luck to her, so we'll have to come back for this, uh, this hair later, but wow. But she got very upset when the plane came because it was such a distracting disturbance. So she spent the rest of the day napping and sleeping in the shade, and now it's night, when traditionally, ooh, it's a coyote. I don't know if we'd fight it. I don't know if she has it in her just yet to fight it. I think she's more just curious and sniffing around. She's more interested in bumping into a, a stranger wolf and maybe seeing what they have to say about things. Oh, hey, there's some food. And maybe eating some of the stranger wolf's food. Like, if the food, if they're not going to show up. Hey, now. All right. So she's finding plenty of elk to kind of nibble on. A little bit of a bone here, a little bit of a bone there. Oh, and then there's a territory marker. But yes, yeah, so she spent the rest of the day kind of napping, and now she's just sort of wandering around, figuring out the lay of the land, figuring out the mountains, and we'll work on getting her experience points up, and then you guys will also work on, oh, all right, let's see what's going on here, a specimen male. All right, so who are you, huh? And what are you going to do about life? What are you looking at? Um, how about, I'm waiting? Oh boy, because I think she'd just be kind of curious about this. Um, I'm waiting? He doesn't know what to do about it either. He's like, I want to be boss. Um, what if we wait again? Is he going to do something? Alright, he's just going to growl at us. Alright, we can take a hint. And I think she'd just run off, because right now she's just in the mood to kind of run around and interact with the other wolves. Is there... Did we get a s experience for that? We didn't get any experience for that? Oh, I was kind of hoping that an encounter like that would give us some experience. I guess you have to, like, fight them, but I don't think she'd be in the mood for that. But, yes, yeah, so we're going to work on taking her back down to the hunting grounds and building up the experience points. Because I know what you guys really are all here for is the puppies. And Star Dancer, after having been with the biologist for so long... Oh my gosh, she's so fast is probably ready to start a family of her own. She's ready to find another dispersal wolf. And that explains the age difference between her, because she's from basically Misty's generation, and her mate, who is going to be one of Misty's puppies. And you guys get to pick which puppy. And how she is ready to start having a wolf pack of her own, and even making it a new pack. But for now, I think she's just really loving having the forest back under her paws. She's just really loving dodging between the trees and tearing through the night sky. Like, tearing through the night. Not the night sky. That would be a whole different kind of... <laughs> whole different kind of wolf. Oh, and there's some food. Alright. And then just proving her abilities as a hunter. So proving that even if she did get quite sick because she stepped into one of those awful traps. So what happened with her, there we go, there's a little bit of food. Look at all the elk, they're just scattered all through the forest. Oh geez, oh geez, forest of elk, let's not get kicked. We don't need to get kicked into pieces. Hello elk, so a very exciting night in the forest, gathering up some food. And she's so fast, even if she's not very strong, she's extremely fast. 
But yeah, Star Dancer, I think, would just kind of want to prove to herself that she's a good hunter. And that's actually why the plane showed up last time, too, because they were trying to determine if she's hunting on her own, if she's going to be able to survive on her own. And I think that she's just extremely playful, very happy to kind of have the, the moss and the soil and the ground and the forest back under her feet. Probably chasing multiple elk, because why not? Oh, and she's really good at chasing them into trees, I've noticed. So she might do very well in a heavily forested area. And I have noticed that she likes to kind of chase multiples. Or like watch them run and wear them down while she nibbles on a leg of one that's already been taken down. See, look at how fast she is. They have no chance to get away. This is awesome. Oh, there's a coyote. Hey, hey, watch out, coyote. Oh, well, this is kind of morbid. The elk is making its last stand on top of the body of another elk. That's fine. I'm sure that happens. All right, there we go. Back hunch. Neck. Back hunch. Come on, down you go. We'll get you yet. All right, neck. And neck. And neck. And yeah, she takes a lot of hits, but I think she's pretty, pretty good about that. All right, we'll have some fresh kill. I'm trying to remember, I think like, usually the predators who take down prey items like this, I think I read somewhere that sometimes they'll go for, um, I think it's either the eyes or the liver first. And that's actually really important. I know that's just like, ew, Siri, gross, what are you talking about? But actually that's very important because the liver is extremely fatty. I think the eyes are supposed to be good for you for some reason or another. But you'll have um, fighting among predators who are in groups like, say, lions or wolves. You'll have a bit of infighting over who gets to have those choice pieces. So believe it or not, studying what the animal goes for first when they decide to eat uh, their fresh kill is extremely important because it can give you insight into the ranks, the hierarchy, the sense of who's in charge, who's dominant, who's getting the best bits, and how getting the best bits might make them, say, a stronger female, able to have more cubs or pups or whatever the predator, like, baby is, or how it might show their, their social standing among their group. All right, she's a very, very patient wolf, so I'm not worried. She's just going to sit here for a minute. There we go. Recover her stamina. She's very quick at recovering her stamina, too, which I really appreciate. All right, let's go ahead. Let's go ahead. Come on. We're going to take you down. We're going to take you down. But yes, you guys may be wondering, her mates. So she has some options, three different options for who she can be a mate with. So it's not going to be the first dispersal wolf male we run across unless he matches the description in the straw poll in the video description. So don't forget, you need to go and check that out. We will wait until you guys get to pick which one of the wolves. Let's see. How are we doing on our pack stats, too? Not bad. 610 already. But we will wait until we meet a dispersal wolf who matches the appearance of the one that you guys vote on. So there's three of them in there. The first one is Geo. And Geo is actually from Misty's first litter, I believe. And he's a pretty strong wolf. He's very... He's, he's a pretty kind wolf. He's strong and he just has kind of like a kind, playful nature. Oh, look at the little flowers. Yeah, I think she just might sit and rest. She's in no hurry. She can chase this elk all she wants. She's got the stamina and the speed for it. In fact, she, she'd probably even play games and kind of chase the elk one way, chase the elk another way. Just happy to be out in the fields. All right, we'll see if we can take her down. So Geo is playful, um, probably a little bit quiet. He's very strong and he is going to have a brown body that has kind of like gray and light brown patches all over it. So he was extremely brown when he was born. That was one of the very exciting things about him. He looked totally different than the others. And then another one is Slate and Slate. Oh, here comes the plane again. Oh, I think that would kind of alarm her. I think she'd like head straight for straight for the, the thickets of the trees. They scared her off her kill and that's actually a big problem with when researchers are trying to do studies like this is it really can scare the animals off of their kill. So I think she'd wait. She's going to hide under the tree in the shadows. And it's really difficult because you need to check in on the animal and make sure they're okay. But then you get into these situations where the animal doesn't feel secure because you're there with your noisy research machines and so they just kind of hunker down. But yeah, Slate is another one of the choices. We'll just have to wait till the plane goes away to hunt that elk. Who could be her mate. Okay, it's starting to go away. And he is more of a gray undertone with dark and light brown patches all over his body. 
Oh, there's another elk. Wow, they're just wandering all over the place tonight. And he is a little bit more, like, brusque. He is a bit more bossy. Um, but he's a very strong fighter. So that is definitely something to consider. Come on, can we get you down? I think she wants to nibble on your legs. All right, there we go. There we go. Come on, come on, come on. I keep thinking I hear the plane as she bites him. And so poor Star Dancer probably would just, like, skedaddle away if any time the plane would show up. But yeah, so Slate is a little bit bossier, um, but he is a strong wolf and might make a good mate. And then finally, there's the weakest of the potential mates, and that is Wisp. And he was the little white pup. So if you guys recall, I think she'd be kind of curious. Like, hey, here, what are you doing? We're going to see if we can, we can chase you away. But yeah, Wisp was the white wolf pup in Misty's letter and he was very very weak when he was small. He actually has the gentlest personality but he's an extremely ferocious fighter. When the time comes to fight he is probably the most bloodthirsty of the hunters and the fighters. But he does have a very gentle personality so he might have a hard time sort of establishing himself. Oh she's doing really good on this one. When it comes to like this is death by tiny bites honestly. But he might have one of the hardest times establishing himself when it comes to wolf hierarchy and wolf rankings. And also, he did have a very weak um, weak health problems when he was a pup. So just keep that in mind, you guys. If you want to pick uh, Wisp, he is one of the only white wolves that Misty ever had. So he would be a white wolf or at least a white-ish wolf. And he would be a little harder to find, too, so it might take us longer to align ourselves with Wisp if we decide that we're going to look for him as one of her potential mates. Because it's kind of uncommon to run into a dispersal male who happens to be, like, mostly white. But that'll be our goal. So that is going to be how we'll combine the two packs. Once we give... Oh, okay, you can do it. Once we give beautiful Star Dancer here... Go, Star Dancer! Go! You can do it! You can do it! She's probably gaining so much confidence as a hunter. But that'll be how we combine the two packs. And I'm so excited because once we start having puppies, there's going to be so many decisions, including like what dens may not even be available to us. And there will be a straw poll where you guys... Oh, look at the rain. That's so cool. That's so cool. I think she wants to run and check out the dispersal wolves over at the fields now. But there will be polls where you guys will be able to determine what the year is going to be like. So if certain areas are flooded, like if some of the dens are flooded or if there's been a forest fire and we're going to say that some of the dens are off limits as a result, that will be something that you guys decide uh, when we get ready to try to find our home and settle into a den. There's going to be a lot more novel and kind of random, so make sure you always keep your eyes out. It's not just going to be at the beginning and the end of a litter anymore. Straw polls where you guys will determine quite a bit about the wolves specific personalities you'll determine whether or not we are able to snag extra ancestor blessings and you might even have a very unlucky day and as a community determine if a pup dies before we reach the summer hunting grounds or not because you picked an option where they ended up dying off screen so just keep your, your eyes out for that it's going to be very amazing to see how you guys help to bring their stories come to life or bring their stories to life where the heck oh there we go I was about to give up. I think Star Dancer's attention span just about almost ended. Because she's curious and wants to see if there's any wolves over here that she can run into. But it's often hard to find any wolves in this field. So I don't think there are. Or maybe the sense have just been washed away because of the rain. Hmm. And of course we will still have our ancestor blessings as usual. But things are going to be a little bit different now. Because we don't have the usual ancestors to rely on since this is a brand new branch of our wolf packs all right and it doesn't look like there's any wolves for her to run into right now and that's just fine because we're finally 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 starting to get to the point where we have enough experience points we'll consider we'll think about and consider being able to find a mate and start a family of her own now all right so yeah no wolves that we're just kind of bumping into but we're probably going to have to look again and again and again and search very, very hard when the time comes to actually find a wolf to be your mate because we'll have to find one that matches with whichever one you guys pick. So be sure you vote in the video description below and then I will see you guys next time when we will continue running with our new pack with Star Dancer as she savors her freedom again outside of the rehabilitation center and as she just takes up her role as a wild wolf 
and starts forging her own unique link in the chain of generations of wolves that we have watched develop and grow and live and die together. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.